Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Troubles. Previously, I showed you how you can fix the problem of GPU acceleration in softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro. If you haven't watched that video, then you can press on the top right corner to watch that video. And this video is the continuation of that video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem of GPU acceleration in general for AMD GPU machines. So this problem is basically affecting machines with AMD GPU. So let's get started. First, uh, you need to go to configure suitable graphics or graphic properties. Uh, let me tell you what this is. This is the control center of the graphic settings provided by AMD. As you can see, and this comes with the graphic driver of AMD GPU. So these are all the settings and you can adjust them to fine tune your performance according to your need. So in particular we need to go to, we need to first ensure some settings uh, like power play and some switchable graphic application settings. So let's make sure first the power play settings. Make sure that uh, the plugged in settings is set to maximize performance and if you want to have maximum performance then you can select this uh, option to then you can set this option to maximize performance. Right now I have set it to maximize battery life because I want more battery life from my laptop but you can set according to your need. So this is the thing then we now go to configure switchable graphic application settings so as you can see some apps over here are logged they cannot be set to high performance and what this high performance means is that any app which shows you this setting that it is using high performance then it means that it is using your laptop graphics to operate not just the onboard graphics but your laptop discrete graphics so here you can see some of the apps are logged and if i go to this list all applications and you here you will find a lot of apps logged that they cannot be set to high performance mode and they are disabled by system or the driver you can say So what this affects on Adobe Premiere Pro or any sim other similar app like Adobe Photoshop or anything, it downgrades their performance and it doesn't allow them to use the GPU in, in spite of the fact that they have the quality or they have the feature to use the GPU. So this can be fixed and it's a very easy fix. So let me show you how you can do this. First of all, you need to go to the uh, folder of the application uh, which you need to set so I am going to Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017 and here you need to find the exe of the main program like uh, here you can see it is the main exe of the Adobe Premiere Pro so we need to just rename it rename it to any other name like uh, I am doing it with a single O and just click OK. Now it will last for this permission, then continue. And, and you are good to go. So let me just close this up and just check it again. So close this one. You need to once open and close this application so that it gets reflected here in this configurable switchable graphics settings. So here you can see now the new name is visible here and you can set 
high performance mode to it and also make sure that these components like this file the name with this file sap html engine it is also set to high performance okay so uh, you can see here's high performance available and then we have to just close this and now check if it shows high performance or not in this let me just show you a new project and yes you can see here that uh, the GPU acceleration is available also let me show you uh, any other app like Adobe Photoshop it also uses the GPU so let's get uh, let's see if it is available in the list this up uh, and I'll see yes it, not. it is uh, showing here so see that uh, here I have already changed the name of the file and I made it photoshop double p dot exe I have renamed the default name and it is showing me high performance mode so you can do this thing with any other similar app which you want that it should use your GPU. So this setting, this control panel should automatically allow you to set this high performance mode after renaming the file. So that's it guys for thanks for watching this video and do make sure that you have watched the previous part of this video and also if you if you like this video and if it helped for you then please press that thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet then please press that red subscribe button